Hey everybody, welcome to Len Bush. We are live here in the Tulip House today and just to let you know that we are live, it's Tuesday, our normal Facebook live day or our live day, <laughs> but we're doing a little pre-recording a couple hours earlier. So yeah, we wanted to make sure that we could let you guys see some things that you don't normally get to see and so we're yes. doing a pre-recorded and we know that you can hear us a little bit better this way too. So, right. so currently yeah. the machine's not running, the noisy machine, yes. so they're on break. So it, it is a little bit easier to get some of this done right now and to yeah. be able to show you guys up and close some of the fun things happening in the Tulip House. And, yes. and happy we, 2021 Yes, too. happy 2021. 2021, Happy New Year, Georgia Edging. I don't think we introduced ourselves. Oh, true. Yes. Go ahead. We introduced the two of us, yes. but <laughs> that's more important. <laughs> happy 2021 from Len Bush from Georgia and Kristen. So yes. we are happy to be with you yes. guys again. It's been a few weeks. We took yes. a little break and we're excited about starting this new year yeah. right here because this is one of our favorite this crops that we grow. I yeah. mean, we all love the holidays. We end the year with the holidays. It's just a wonderful time. But spring is when, when we hit the tulip house, holy cow. I know. That to me, that it's just ushering in spring, and I hope you feel the same way. And I was just inspired, real quickly, I want to get this out of my hands, but <laughs> I was just inspired by these gorgeous yellow tulips, Len Bush grown right here. And I just had to grab some springy co co um, colors, some other accent flowers, throw it in. Okay, one of my favorite tins. I just love this tin and just. There's a little inspiration for you. Nice and springy pussy willow. And the pussy willow. willow. I know. That to me is I like, know. yay, pussy I couldn't, willow. I know. You combine those two and you've just screamed, um, open up the doors for springtime. Here it is. It's just seriously. So I just agree. a little inspiration. Get these tulips in and, you know, a little inspiration for you. So there you go. Yeah. So we're going to kind of introduce a little bit and give you maybe some fun facts, yeah. if you want to call them that, about the tulip crop that we right. grow. And obviously right behind us yes. are all the crates where the tulips are growing. Right. And we're, right now we're in front of yellows and pinks. Yellows and pinks, yes. But at different times during the season, because we'll grow these through May, yeah. uh, through the beginning of May, yeah. and at different times during the season we'll have different colors in here and different varieties of colors right. in here. So it's, it's For example, we, we aren't uh, currently growing red. We're growing them, but we're not harvesting, harvesting red right now correct. because we're taking a little break. We've had a lot of a red of going red. on. Yep. We're taking a little break, and then you'll see yes. red coming up again for Valentine's right. Day. Because we know so. that the consumer at this point, they want yellows, pinks, and oranges, these bright springy colors right. that bring spring into our homes. But yeah. red and pink will be stronger and white yes. in a couple weeks in at Valentine's. Weeks. Huh, so, because that's crazy. what we want at that point when it comes to Valentine's. Yeah, we're so. ready for the red again. Yeah, yeah. we're ready then. So, so. Um, one thing you can see again that the tulips are in yep. crates. We've talked about before that we grow our tulips hydroponically, yes. meaning yes. they're growing in water versus soil. Yep. And maybe, Sarah, you can even show there because right. it shows a little bit of the water. Right down in here. Um, yeah. They get planted, um, when I say planted, pl the plugs put get in. put into the crates. Yes. And that actually um, take, from the point we get the tulips in to the point that we get to harvest them, it takes about seven weeks. Mm -hmm. So um, it's fairly quick, but we have to right. fake them out. Remember, we have to fake their winter. Yep. So they get put in the rooting cooler, cooler, what they call the rooting cooler. At a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. It, right. it's, it's really a science. It is a science. One yeah. that you and I... No, it's... No, beyond... Yeah. Yeah. I just want to have fun with them at the end. <laughs> right, exactly. Let somebody else grow them, and Marcos is our grower down here and does a beautiful job It is growing an amazing these. job. Yes. Yeah, we were actually just speaking with the growers before we went on uh, to, to film, yeah. and they were sharing and bragging a little bit, yeah. like, hey, our tulips have no insect. Right. Pest, pest free. Pest free. They said pest free. And I was like, oh my gosh. I said, what do you mean? Pest yeah. free. It's yeah. like, it's just a crop that pests don't typically, and we said we should be knocking on wood too, yeah. but typically that pests don't want to have anything to do with because it's kind of an in and out product. It moves real quickly. Right. And lack of soil, that must help a little bit too as yeah, well. I would so, agree. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a good thing. Yep. So we don't have to deal with anything like unnatural and put them in there yep. as natural as possible. Oh, you're so excited I, about I have these. to talk about this though yeah. because here at Len Bush, we like to talk about how we're renewable, sustainable, and that we right. are very, we try to do things as organically as possible and that we try to be responsible to our, our world around us. But we just learned that the casings, the bulb casings actually get taken off when they get too tight for the bulb as the bulb is growing or if they're loose. And they we actually take these and decompose these. So it's a it's composition. Put, put in the compost yes. pile. Yep. Yes. yep. Isn't yes. Isn't that cool? So we don't just throw them away, throw them in the garbage. We actually compost the bulb casings. So love that's that. That's something that we didn't know. We've been no. here a long time and that's yes, something we, we didn't, didn't ever realize that. Yes. until about 10 minutes ago. Right. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Just yeah, another agreed. way to just stay green and stay on top of things. Agreed. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that um, so the time frame is that they they do have little ways to trick Sarah. If you want to even point out the darkness over there, right? You can see that there are a bunch of tulips over there that are covered with blankets, if you want to call yep. them that. 
it's kind of slowing them down, giving yep. them a chance to grow, but yet not grow too fast because we want to control the timing of them a little yes. bit. Um, and that's their way of being able to do that. Right. So, so it's a way to control. Right. Yeah. And Absolutely. how many uh, tulips that we grow About 8,000 is an average. Oh, 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 oh okay, we'll four, start again. Four million. Um, I have 5.2. Five, 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 five yeah, it's five probably two, four, whatever. like 5 point, yeah. Yeah, okay. you're right. You are right. Sorry, that's how many the we grow a year. The last couple of years have been, yes. Yes, so, we But we can, them. the machine that we're going to look at yep. in a little bit that Sarah's done some footage with, 8,000 an hour. We can do about 8,000 an hour. And when so she says do, she means process. Process. Yes. Harvest and process. Harvest. So, yeah. Yep. So if you take a look over here, we've got the trolley carts and we call them trolleys and they've got these bins on them. Are we walking that way? We can walk Should, a little let's bit. Walk sure. Inside. Okay. So they've got these flats on them that we pull, the harvesters will actually pull the bulbs out of the crates, lay them into the crates on the trolleys and they will then run along this system. If you take a look at these pipes up here, they run along the system all the way down to the end of the, the row where they go to the machine. Yes. And then from there, they get taken off on a machine. You want me to keep talking? Well, it's okay. okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You're on a roll. Go ahead. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> so they actually put them on the machine. They sort them by color, however they're going to bunch them by numbers. And then they chop off the bulb at the end which goes on this little conveyor belt into this little bin that again gets, of course, And I'm gonna composted. stop you for a second because I just like, I'm geeky about this because yeah. the machine amazes me so much. And um, it's from Holland, by the way, right. which I think is super cool. But they don't chop it. The machine actually, so yes, the they take does. them off of the trolleys and um, they load them up and, and pile them. And, yes. and they actually kind of sort them out so they're all a little bit even. Yeah. And then off, like you said, the, the conveyor belt chops goes. Off the, yep. And then the machine chops off the bulb. Yes. And the bulbs get put into a huge bin, yes. which does get composted also. Yep. And then the machine also has a way to be able to regulate. Like if you can right. tell if there's little one-offs, like, yep, wrong yep. size. This doesn't feel good. It knows that, yep. which it's which crazy we, I don't smart. know how, but again, I know. Come Helen, but we're happy, that we're happy with it. So. <laughs> right. right. And then it is able to actually um, binds count them. Yep. them by bunches of 10. It counts them, puts them in a pile, yep. and then binds, binds them, like them. she says. Yep, binds them, and then, and then yeah, it binds them with a rubber band. And then goes around the corner, yes. and then there is then a crew that will them. sleeve them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah, speaking of that, duh, the yep. rubber band. this is what it does. The machine does all of this for us. Yes. It's a very smart machine. Yeah, it is. Super I cool. wish I had that at home for doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try. Yeah, so anyway, did I feel like um, we kind of jumped through a few different things. Oh, one thing too, which um, surprised me, is that we actually get 12 truckloads of bulbs per year that get delivered here to Lenbush. Amazing. 12, 12 truckloads. At different times? Yes, yeah. That's, I mean, most of them are wow. towards the beginning because right. we still have to do that. They're over in the next building right. still putting all the bulbs mm -hmm. on the on the trays on the plugs. Yep. and that i feel like if i remember last year it's that goes and we goes do that and for goes. a couple of months yeah but imagine having to do that with yes. 5.2 million tulips right. every single tulip has right. to be hand planted but imagine before we did it hydroponically those were all going in soil True. too yeah so, so that's a whole really nother. it's yeah, yeah this is just an awesome way to do this and so. what would you say the benefits i mean for me the benefits of hydroponically versus soil i mean first off as a designer right you don't have to deal with any soil it's yeah clean I don't have dirt to deal. no exactly which is really nice it's it's a whole clean process definitely yeah cleaner on that end cleaner on this end cleaner on my end right yep. so, I yeah i agree i agree yeah. yeah it's it's a great place to it, be it is it yeah. really is and just who doesn't love tulips especially this time of year yeah we, agree. Just, we really need them so those Absolutely of you gorgeous yeah they are those of you who um planned ahead you probably already have your tulips coming every week those of you who didn't, I just want to say they are in high demand. Everybody mm -hmm. is kind of, the secret's out. Our tulips are yep. awesome. Tulips are here. And so I would contact your sales rep and make sure yes. if you don't have orders in, talk with them. Know that you might have to wait a little longer to get all the colors you need and want because mm -hmm. they are in high demand. But get them right. on order and maybe even as a standing order through the whole yep. season. Yeah, plan it out. Plan, yeah. Just make sure that you've got a standing order going. That's, I think that's key, right? Oh, absolutely. For the sales absolutely. Rep to communicate that. Yeah, and, yeah for yeah. sure. And I actually think that this bunch might go home with me today because it will yeah. be my first tulips of the season. There you and, go. And I know they're Georgia's favorite. Oh, yeah. So. One of my absolute favorites are tulips. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. So anyway, welcome to 2021, and we hope we have a lot of great things to share with you this year. We're yes. excited. Looking forward to it. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you next week. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.